Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Branston Golf and Country Club. Today's video is gonna be all about how to cope with an awkward fairway bunker shot. So I've only got 115 yards here, which means I'm actually gonna be taking one of my wedges, which makes this a very tricky shot. Stay tuned to find out how to play it. As mentioned, today's video is gonna be about fairway bunkers. Now, I'd much prefer the fairway bunker shot to actually be a quite a long one, uh, where I could take perhaps a hybrid or something like that. With a wider sole there, there's a wider margin or a larger margin of error, whereas this particular shot, I've got 115 yards to that flag, I'm gonna be having to actually hit more like a three quarter pitching wedge. It's just a little bit out of range of my gap wedge, which is about 105. So this is gonna be a, not a flat out, but a, a nearly full pitching wedge, which makes this quite an awkward shot because I'm now using a club that may be digging a little bit more, a slightly narrower sole. So actually fairway bunker shots are probably a little bit easier while we're just going for pure distance. This one's quite tricky because I'm actually using my, one of my wedges. So I'm gonna go through through two options that you've got and my preference on that. But you will see a variety with, with elite golfers. So I'm gonna show you both and I would encourage you to practice both options and see where your preference lies. As I said, I've got this red flag here, which means the, the pin is on the front of the green, very firm conditions. So it's gonna be tricky to even stop this ball, but my aim here is to uh, try and get as near to that green as possible, ideally on it. I have got water to, to carry as well here. Uh, I didn't laser how much it is to the, over the water, but I'm guessing it's around 80 yards to carry that. So this is a particularly awkward shot. And if you weren't comfortable with this, it may be that you tried to chip something out if you were in this situation, just to get it back out and then hit your next shot over the water. But I'm obviously gonna be going for it. I'm gonna be showing you how to hit this fairway bunker shot. Now, the good news is I haven't got a high lip. If I did have a high lip in front, that would really force my hand. I'd have to play more like a normal greenside bunker shot and just get the ball back in play. But I've definitely got a chance here. I've got a very low lip. The awkward thing about this, as I said, is the yardage that I've got. So I'm gonna be grabbing my pitching wedge, as mentioned. This is more like a, well, just less than full. It's about a shoulder height, chest height swing for me. And I'm going to go through, as I said, the two options. My preference is actually to play it more like a punch shot. So I've always played bunker shots, actually moving the ball a little bit further back in my stance. So normally I'd be playing a wedge from very central in my stance here. Now what I'm going to do, just to try and guarantee that I strike the ball before striking the sand, is I tend to prefer moving that ball just a little bit further back towards my trail foot. I would wiggle my feet in just for balance. Now the downside to wiggling your feet in is you're lowering your body so you're more likely to catch the sand. But what I do to compensate for that is just grip that club that little bit lower down. So I've moved the ball a touch further back. I would wiggle your stance in for balance, for grip, but I'd counteract the fact that I'm now lower by shortening the club that little bit. And I just try and make sure that I'm feeling a little bit more pressure onto my lead leg. So instead of starting, where I'd be more 50-50 or maybe 55 on my front foot in terms of pressure, I'd actually set a little bit more like 60-65%. So I'm starting a little bit more onto my lead leg and just trying to stay there. So I'm trying to make sure I feel like my sternum stays ahead of the golf ball. It will promote a lower ball flight. Um, but I prefer to catch this, if anything, a little bit thin. What I don't want is heavy coming up short in the water or anything like that. I'd prefer to get you know back edge of the green and make sure that I'm out the bunker. So I don't mind it being even just a little bit bottom groove. And we're sort of promoting that with this punch shot sort of setup position by moving the ball back, making sure I've got a little bit more pressure onto my lead leg and my sternum is staying ahead of the golf ball. As I said, that other little compensation I've made is grip down the handle a little bit. So I'm just gonna rehearse the swing length I need, which is more like a three quarter backswing, sort of shoulder height, chest height. Let me go ahead and hit this one, which would be my preference, and then we'll talk about the other option. It 
It's going to come up a little bit short of the green, but it's flown the water just up there on the fringe, just short of the green. I definitely got, I just needed to hit it a little bit harder to be honest, but I definitely got the ball and then the divot. And you could potentially hear that one. Uh, I'm hoping at least um, the, the contact point, I can see my divot line and it's definitely starting. I just drew a, a line there for where I was talking about where I play the ball in terms of my stance. It was in line with the golf ball and my divot is starting ahead of that. It was quite a long divot. It was a good 10 inches long, but it was happening after the golf ball. So I was creating a downward blow, but I definitely struck the golf ball first. Now, when I was doing my PJ training, the PJ manual said we should play fairway bunker shots uh, more forwards in our stance as if we're striking a little bit more up on it. So like we've more got a, a wood in our hands, so we're actually striking a little bit more upwards. And it's never felt comfortable for me, but again, you do see a variety of players out there on tour and some will play that. The benefit we've got of moving the ball forwards is we are gonna hit that higher ball flight. So my method moving the ball back will lower the trajectory. But for me, it just feels easier to get that ball first. But if this method works for you, then I'm not against it. I would try both options and see where you get the best results, what feels most comfortable for you. So actually in this one, instead of playing the ball middle, I'm just gonna move the ball slightly further forwards ahead of my stance. And I'm just gonna feel like I actually strike a little bit more upwards on the ball. So actually now my stern of my head is level or slightly behind the golf ball. So rather than setting myself forwards, I'm really trying to pick this one very clean off the surface. The worry I have from here is that we're gonna strike the ground before the ball. What it requires is very good weight transfer or pressure shift. So I've really gotta make sure I do follow through. You will struggle with this method if you're hanging back onto your trail foot. So what we've really got to make sure here is that we do get our weight going forwards, our pressure going forwards. So I am going to give myself some grip, especially with this trail foot, because I want to feel like I can push off it. You can tell I'm nervous about this one. I'm jabbering on. Not a shot I normally, or method I normally use, but we're going to give it a go. Ball more forwards feel like I'm tilted more behind and concentrate on a good follow through. Oh, maybe I should try it more often. That one's gonna get a bit of the green. Yep, up there, just in the shadow on the front edge of the green there. I did actually take a divot, but it, get, it was a much shallower divot than my first uh, option. So my first option was definitely more of a digging. The second option was more of a picking. I did manage to strike the ball first and it was quite a shallow divot there. It felt like I was striking more upwards, but the evidence would suggest I was still swinging down, but not as downward as my first option. So I'd encourage you to try both. Whether you play it more like a punch shot, ball back, stern and forwards, hitting more down on it, or whether you try and pick it more off the surface, try both options see where you're, you're best at. Both of them for me did fly the, ball, uh, fly the water. Both are up there, one just short of the green on the apron and one on the green there. I would take both of those from this awkward shot, but give it a go, see where you're best at. That's the one I want you to use on the golf course. I hope this video has helped. If it has, make sure you give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. New content now, the, the times and dates or the date has changed. I'm now doing Tuesdays and Thursdays just to make sure I've got more quality in my videos and I will do the occasional special Saturday as well. Do subscribe to the channel, it's the best way to stay in touch. Cheers guys, we'll see you soon.